Okay, this is for your camouflage project. Enough steps to get you started. You're going to need a sheet of paper. On the back, you're going to want to write your name, just so we know whose it is. Then you're going to flip it over, and the first thing that you need to do is think about something simple of something that you really like. So one of your favorite things. So, for example, I really like watching birds. So maybe I would just quick sketch out a little bit a little bird something that you are able to draw that's not going to take you too much time all right it needs to be something very very simple so i'm not looking for a really spectacular impressive drawing i want it to be something that you're confident in drawing and you just need to do the contour, meaning just the outline of it. So, you can change it, like I'm going to change this up a little bit later, but for now, that's what I need. Maybe I'll make a little branch. Okay, so that's the first thing. So take some time to draw one of your favorite things. A favorite thing could be um, an animal, a cartoon, a vehicle, something from nature, a piece of food, like ice cream cone, something simple that you really like. Okay, then the next thing, you're going to start using your pencil and divide this into just little chunks in the background. They can just be random shapes. If you make them too small, it's going to take you a really, really long time to do the final part, so you don't want them to be too small. But also, if they're too big, it's not going to look right. So, I started in the background. That's what you guys need to do, is start in the background. I just divided it up into little sections. Okay, and I can make those lines a little bit closed later on so that they actually break off into shapes. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go inside of the thing that I drew, so in this case mine's a bird, and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to chunk it up into little pieces. It doesn't matter what the pieces look like, they're just random shapes. And this kind of goes along because we have hunting season. I'm going to darken this wing line here. But this project is going to teach you how to start shading, something that we haven't really done yet. So now my bird is broken into pieces, I might break the legs into a couple different pieces and the branches, maybe I'll do like a little bit of a pattern here. Just breaking this all into pieces. Okay, so once you have that done, then you're going to need to start in the background, you're going to start shading. You need every piece to go from dark to light. And you make it dark by pushing down pretty hard. Not hard enough where you need to break your pencil because we don't want to be sharpening pencils all the time. And it's kind of like coloring. You go back and forth. So right now I'm pushing pretty hard. Then I'm going to kind of push medium. Not too hard, not too light. And I want to see it gradually change from dark all the way over to light. Now I am barely pushing my pencil on the paper, barely. And it's getting very light. And I'm going to come back down. I want to start pushing harder back here. And you could do like two corners dark and two light, whatever you want, as long as there's a transition from dark to light in every piece. So maybe this side down here is the darker side and then it kind of fades up to lighter. Now I'm going very fast. I would expect that you guys would go a little bit slower but I just want to show you what to do. And If you have lines you can kind of work on going back across the whole thing using long strokes 
to kind of blend that in a little bit better. Maybe I'll make this whole section a little bit darker. Okay. Now when I start, when I choose my next spot, I don't want two light areas next to each other. So if I make this and this the same value, I'm not going to really see the difference. So where there's a light spot on one side, I need to make a dark spot on the other side. So all the neighboring pieces need to have a dark spot next to a light spot. Sometimes that might get tricky. So like here, this is kind of dark here and it's light here. So what do I do? Well on this side I'm going to make it a little bit darker. But on this side I'm going to end up making it a little bit lighter. So I have to switch pretty quickly. Just so that you can see an edge everywhere. And then as I get close to this dark area, I'm going to have to lighten up. Just gradual changes. Now, like I said, I'm going very fast. You should go a little bit slower. Even if I'm not there watching you do every little piece, I can tell the difference between shading like this and shading slow like this you can see the results that one is evident that you took your time and the other is not so you're gonna keep filling space by space all the way until you have a finished piece that looks like something like this so it's kinda of camouflaged you can see here in the background I have all my pieces that were broken up I used curved lines there and then after I did the background, I went inside my favorite thing, this is a minion, and I started doing the shading inside. So after I did the whole background, I would come inside the bird, and I would start shading each little piece inside the bird. So that should give you an idea of how to do the project. So this is what it should look like when it's finished.